All right, so I'm gonna do a video also on the um, painting of my 115 horse uh, two-stroke Johnson outboard. Uh, the motor's a 99. Um, I've gone ahead and stripped the decals off the cowling cover. I'm gonna do a, a video just for now on the cowling cover. I just wanted to see how it was gonna come out after uh, you know doing some tests you know with different primer and paint and all that stuff so i've decided i'm going to wait to do the lower half of the engine until i get a good result out of this and then uh take those uh methods and use it on the rest of the motor so anyways i've stripped off the decals it took me about 40 minutes to get all those off of the razor blade they were on there you know they've been on there for about 20 years the motor's 99 so um just want to go through the materials that i bought i spent about 43 dollars um on materials I got a bottle of Simple Green just to degrease, de-wax the engine, clean the uh, loose dirt and stuff off of it before I put my uh, primer on it. And I got a Rust-Oleum automotive primer. I'm going to do this, a couple coats of this on the cowling, and then I'm going to sand that Rust-Oleum uh, primer with a 320 uh, fine sandpaper, wet sand it. Not necessarily wet sand it, but just sand that down, get it smooth, wipe it down with some soap and water, let it dry. Then I'm going to come through with the white. And the motor's gray, but I'm going to paint it white, get it a little more updated look. Uh, this is uh, a Noleum, um, yeah, it's enamel, sorry. High performance enamel, white enamel for uh, automotive work. And then once I go through and do a couple coats of the white on there. I'm gonna sand that white paint down with a 400 grit sandpaper just to smooth everything out. Wipe it down again with uh, something to clean the loose dust off and then gonna spray it with a Rust-Oleum uh, clear coat. It's a crystal clear enamel. And then follow that up with a wet sanding with some 800 grit sandpaper. And then uh, we'll put our new decals on top of that. So the first step I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna take that simple green, I'm gonna wash the uh, cowling cover down. Um, I also need to get some goo gone on here to get these uh, remaining residue from the stickers off. But once I get that all cleaned up, I'll uh, get it all cleaned up and get a video of that and then we'll uh, move on to the next step which is priming, sanding and priming. All right, got it sanded down. I'm gonna wipe it down, wipe all the dust off of it. That was with a 320 grit. Uh, and then we're gonna throw some primer on it after the water uh, wipe down dries. All right, we got our first coat of primer on. I am going to put a second coat of primer on here in just a few minutes. Um, I have decided to not um, sand the primer. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my paint on um, as soon as this second coat of uh, primer flashes off and dries to the touch um, and then I'm gonna let the paint cure per uh, you know cure before I uh, apply my clear coat so I'll probably end up doing the clear coat another day I'm running out of daylight but uh, so today we're gonna get the second coat of primer on and I'm actually probably just gonna keep priming this thing until I run out of paint I've, run, I've got one can but uh, and then we'll uh, put a couple part two three coats of paint on there and then I'll put it away and let it cure and then uh, we'll get to doing the clear coat and sanding for the, the final sanding for clear coat with 800 grit all right so you got the first coat of the white enamel high gloss on and it's looking pretty good looking a lot better than it did before I'm gonna wait for this to dry it's got a 15 minute uh, fast dry on it and uh, just keep putting coats on I'm probably gonna do at least two more coats two more light coats and then uh, I'll put her away for about three or four days and let it cure I know it's probably more than it needs but <clears throat> then uh, actually with a 15 minute fast dry I might be able to put the clear coat on today we'll see but uh, we're waiting for uh, second and third coat I'll let you know uh, what it looks like once that third coat is dry, is, uh, dry. All right, so this is three coats of paint. And you can see I'm doing this outside. This is obviously an amateur paint job that I'm doing. I got freaking pieces of dirt that are falling on top of the paint. So I'll have to get a pair of tweezers to get that off there. 
but it's not looking too bad. I did some research online while I was inside. <clears throat> Most people said just go ahead and put your clear coat on um, prior to your um, coat, your base coat, fully curing. Um, once it's dry to the touch, you can go ahead and spray your clear on. And they said that's the proper way to bond the paint. I'm not entirely sure. If someone else is watching this video and knows better than me, let me know. But that's what I'm going to do. So, And then I'm going to put uh, probably three coats of clear on there. And then I'm going to take it in the house and let it let it cure for a couple days. i got to work the next couple days. So probably on Friday I'll come back out here when I'm off and wet sand it. And then also I'm going to go ahead and paint the lower half of the engine, the foot and the midsection and all that stuff. So it's coming together. Alright, so today I am going to paint the lower half of the engine, and I know a lot of people out there on YouTube are going to be like, oh, you got, you know, you did a crappy job taping it and doing all this stuff, and or should have taken the motor off, but I, you know, honestly, this is a 20-year-old boat. It's going to look a lot better than it did before, um, so I'm just going to do a cheap little rattle can job on it, and I'm, I'm not really too, you know, I'm not a professional painter, so I'm not going to get all into making it look perfect. As long as it looks good from four or five feet away, I'll be happy, so... The cowling is done. That was three coats of primer, three coats of white enamel, and then three coats of clear coat enamel. I'm not going to wet sand it or do any of that mess. Um, it looks good just the way it is, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, so I've gone through, I went through and decre degreased the motor with uh, some dish soap with hot water and uh, taped everything up. Um, all the stuff that I want to keep from getting paint on it tilt trim motor button um, some other stuff and I'm gonna put the I've, san I've sanded it down also and then wiped off the dust and I'm gonna go through and put the uh, first three coats of primer on it and I'll uh, get back to you when those are on all right sorry I forgot to turn the camera back on when I uh, finished priming the engine but I got the whole thing primed earlier uh, with two coats of primer I'm now putting on the first coat of white enamel same stuff as the cowling, it's rust uh high performance enamel, white. Uh, it comes in all different colors. But uh, this is it, I'm getting getting there. The hardest part about this painting job I've had is getting underneath here and then all in here properly. But uh, if you take your time, you can get in there. Well, she's coming along though. All right, so this is pretty much it. I've just gone through and painted, repainted the hydrofoil black as well as the prop. Uh, I put a flat black enamel on there. I'm going to hit those with some clear coat once they uh, dry up. And, uh, and that's going to be it for. But just goes to show you what you can do with, you know, a couple of uh, cans of spray paint. You don't have to be a professional. I mean, this thing looks pretty good for, for just doing it. You know, I've never really painted anything like this before, so... It looks pretty decent for being just a, a backyard job you know I spent about I don't know about 40 bucks on uh, materials you know tape uh, cans of paint and all that stuff and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out it looks you know it's glossy it, it looks nice so certainly gonna dress the boat up a good bit you know uh, before I had a, a, a you know, late 90s gray uh, factory Johnson Evan paint job on there, and it was just horrible. Uh, guy I actually bought the boat from, a friend of mine, he said that uh, he was doing some research on the paint, and they were experimenting. Evan was experimenting with different types of paint that year. Uh, late, a lot of late 90s models, uh, motors that have that kind of charcoal gray color to them, and they just didn't turn out right. You know, the, the paint would fade, chip. I had some bad pitting on the top of the cowl um, from it, but... Uh, I'm gonna let this dry off. I'm gonna slap some clear coat on that uh, hydrofoil and the prop. And then once that uh, dries, I'll get one last video showing what it looks like. So, if y'all have any questions about the paint that I used or anything, go ahead and either shoot me an email or just uh, post a question on the bottom of this video in the comments. Um, just let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alright, so that's it. That's what she looks like when she's all painted up. And I made a few mistakes on it, you know, it being the first time. Um, I thought it was all taped up down here on the very bottom, and I got a little bit of overspray from painting the, the foil in the back. Um, but I'm not worried about that. No one's really going to see it when it's in the water. But that's it. 
that's painting the motor with the spray can. You know, it looks. I'm I'm very happy with it. Got any questions? Uh, shoot me an email or shoot me a question on the comment section and uh, subscribe to my channel. And I got two more projects on this boat that we're gonna do next. Um, the wiring on this trailer, I'm gonna rig it up so I can use it this summer from when I did the tongue. Um, I still have the loose wires up here in front. I'm gonna rewire that up and put a fresh pigtail on the end of it so I can plug it into the truck when we tow it. Um, eventually, I'm gonna gut all the wiring from this trailer. The wiring is about 20 years old. The lights are probably not that old, but they're, they're old too. And uh, they need it. See, I got a zip tie holding one of them on there, but um, I'm going to replace the lighting on the trailers all the way around. I'm going to put all new wiring all through it. And uh, I'm also going to plasti dip the plastic fender covers in white. So those are going to be new and white. I've got to sand those and treat them and paint them. And next week, I'm still waiting for some stuff to come in, some material. But the seats are very dingy and old on this boat. Um, from years of salt water and mud and all this stuff and sand from people using them about 17 years worth of use out of them so I opted to uh, instead of you know I called the place here in town they wanted 400 bucks to recover my my bench seat and back seat back and then my uh, seat back for the Ford that, that's part of the cooler which to me is outrageous you know you can get a, you can get a whole new seat from iBoats.com for about 300 bucks uh, with the cooler and all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment with some uh, Krylon um, vinyl spray paint that I've been reading online and it's gotten great reviews. Uh, you have to order it in a pack of six from Home Depot or Lowe's because it's going it to cost, cost me about 28 bucks shipped to my house. That'll be here next Thursday. I'm going to go out here and we're going to make a video of uh, the treatment of the seats. I'm going to prep it for the vinyl new vinyl paint. Put about four or five coats of those uh, the vinyl on there and uh, see if we can't get them looking like new without spending 400 bucks so everything i read online said people use them for their boats in the past and it worked great uh it dries flexible so but that's the next two projects for this one so next week we'll have a video coming with the seats the seat uh repairs and then probably later this summer early fall i'll get into rewiring this trailer um after i've gotten you know summer's use out of it and uh the weather starts cooling off we'll start getting into the trailer more of the trailer stuff so Anyways, there's the motor, all done, painted. I'm gonna order some factory decals for it. Uh, Johnson decals are about 100 bucks on the internet. Um, the ones I need are the Johnson 115 Ocean Pro. So those, I wanna, the original ones that came on this boat were a red, red and gray color. I'm gonna order blue and white. Uh, I'm sorry, gray and gray and blue. The lettering is, is gray and blue, so. But they should look pretty good on there when I'm done with them. And then one other thing I'm going to do, make a video of it, is I'm going to repair all these little holes in the transom that I've had to seal up with caulking where we've had stuff mounted up years ago. Um, I'm going to pull all the screws out, all the old caulking out, and we're going to fix that with some um, fiberglass composite sealer and stuff like that and get this transom. It's a solid transom, but it needs, it needs some little minor repairs here and there. Um, but that's about it. Stay tuned for more sea hunt projects. If you got a sea hunt and have any information about them, feel free to share it with me. I'm always looking for new information about them. So, um, all in all, it's been a good boat. It's a 17 foot, 17 and a half foot boat. But, uh, solid boat, even after 20 years, everything's still solid as a rock on it. So, I highly recommend these boats to anybody who's looking for a boat. Anyways, subscribe to my channel and ask me any questions if you have them. Thanks for watching.